Hi everyone, this is Feeding Master Charles Galofre, and together with Chess.com, I would like to thank you for being a part of this lecture. And the the game that I want to present to you today is another game from um, Paul Morphy's collection. And the reason why I chose the game is because I think that there are a lot of interesting uh, uh, th themes in the middle game that are very instructive for for beginning players and also for a lot of us that are trying to basically improve uh, in chess. So Morphe was black and he played versus Bird. Bird plays e4 and Morphe replies e5. Now uh, previously I have mentioned that uh, the majority of Morphe's games consisted of these two moves. As white he would play e4 and as black he would reply with e5. And the reason why I'm trying to bring this to your attention is because uh, I think that for beginners or for those of you that are starting out it's ideal to uh, to follow in the footsteps of Morphe. And uh, I think that uh, these positions it's it's usually uh, you know, you minimize your chances of making mistakes in the opening because uh, the development of the pieces uh, is very basic and very simple for for you to follow. And also, and don't ask me why, I think that uh, beginners, uh, they create a better affinity uh, of understanding in what phase of the game they're in when they play uh, these type of positions. So you might you might wonder you might ask yourself why that's important, but uh, well everybody has problems you know finding moves in a chess game, but uh, but when you're starting out you know these problems are at a different magnitude, and uh, when you're capable of identifying in what phase of the game you're in, in other words if you're still in the opening or in the middle game etc. Uh, that helps you guide your thinking process or your thoughts uh, to you know to where you're supposed to be at, and uh, this really helps you when you're starting out to play in chess. So here, Bird plays Knight to F3, and Morphe continues with D6, and that's the Philidor defense. Bird plays uh, D4, and here Morphe plays F5. Now, just for your general knowledge. Uh, the most contemporary way of playing the Philidor is to capture the pawn on d4. Excuse me, and after queen takes d4, or knight takes d4, uh, you know, it leads to a very theoretical position that is known to be better for white. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.